how to install Lineage OS 18.1 based on Android 11 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Lineage OS 18.1 based on Android 11 on the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro or the Redmi K20 Pro. As you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro which is running MIUI 12 based on Android 10. Now what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and then you need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those which can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Because if we run into any boot loops, encryption issues, we are going to do a format data from TWRP, in which case you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Next question which I get a lot is, will this process work if I am on a custom ROM? Yes, the process will work. All you have to do is skip the steps which are not applicable to you. First thing we need to do is we'll go into settings and then you'll go into password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, you can go back, go into me account and remove your me account. Now, of course, those of you who are on custom ROMs based on AOSP, you won't have the option of removing your me account next thing you need to go into accounts and sync and remove your google account as well so once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we rebooting our device we are rebooting a device just to make sure that all the accounts and security measures have been removed successfully and why are we removing all these accounts and security measures we are doing this because we are going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Next thing you need to know is whether your device is encrypted or not. So for that, you can go into settings and then you'll go into password and security and privacy. Here it is, encryption and credentials, phone not encrypted, which means my Redmi K20 Pro is decrypted. Now, those of you who are on custom ROMs, which are based on AOSP, you need to go into settings and then you'll go into security tap on advanced and as you can see encryption and credentials so this is my pixel 3 it says my device is encrypted if your device is decrypted then you need to download disable force encryption which brings us to the question that what are the files which are needed now all the files which are needed are linked in the description of the video so if your device is decrypted or not encrypted then you need disable force encryption next up you need lineage os 18.1 itself now do note this is the unofficial build but the developer behind it is the official lineage os developer for the redmi k20 pro then you have g apps and i am using nix stock google apps and then last but not the least you need vendor plus firmware for your variant of the redmi k20 pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro, I do have a separate video showing you how to figure that out, which can again be found in the description of this video. Next thing we need to do is boot into TWRP recovery. So first of all, turn off your device. Once the device has turned off, press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TWRP recovery boot logo. Once we have booted into TWRP, we'll go into wipe, advanced wipe, select Dalvik cache system and data that's it those are the only partitions which we need to choose and then we are going to swipe to wipe if you get this message about unable to decrypt fbe device just ignore it once we have wiped everything tap on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder if you transferred them manually from your computer you would know where they are first file which we need to select is the vendor plus firmware file then add more zips the lineage os 18.1 rom file itself then add more zips we are going to select next stock google apps and 
because my device was not encrypted or decrypted i need to flash disable force encryption if your device was encrypted then you should not even have downloaded disable force encryption so i'll select add more zips and select the disable force encryption file and then swipe to confirm flash once all the files have flashed successfully we can scroll up and make sure that there were no issues in the flashing process so here we are flashing the vendor and firmware and we should have script succeeded result was one so here it is next up it is flashing lineage os 18.1 and that was also flashed without any issues so script succeeded result was one then we are flashing nix stock g apps and they were also flashed without any issues and last but not the least we are flashing disable force encryption for disable force encryption you need to make sure it is patching some f stab in vendor slash etc and as you can see the file is being patched next up we'll tap on the home button now in case disable force encryption does not patch any f stab you need to go into mount make sure you mount the vendor partition and then flash disable force encryption one more time at this point we have successfully flashed all the files which we need to in case after we reboot you run into any boot loops any encryption issues you can always boot back into twrp by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time while you're in a boot loop you will enter twrp then you need to go into wipe format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard for now i am going to skip that step because we do not know whether we are going to have a boot loop or not so next up reboot and then select system and there it is we do have the lineage os boot animation on our redmi k20 pro and the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen so let me skip the initial setup real quick and now that we are on the home screen we can go into settings and then first of all let us check for encryption so we'll go into security as you can see encryption and credentials for not encrypted which means dfe or disable force encryption was flashed without any issues now if your device was encrypted already it should show encrypted over here and you should not have flashed disable force encryption next up application drawer as you can see we have google gmail maps photos play store which means g apps package by nick was also flashed without any issues next up we can go into settings go into about phone and now if i tap on the android version you will see that lineage os version is 18.1 android version of course is android 11 and there it is peeps that is how you install lineage os 18.1 based on android 11 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you